Hello, today I'm going to show you how to airplay your Apple device to your Windows PC completely free, no trials, no nonsense, no nothing like that, just completely free high quality airplay mirroring from your Apple device to your computer. Now this will work with iPhones, iPods, iPads, MacBooks, anything that you airplay to on an Apple TV, it will work onto your computer. Now the first thing you're probably thinking is, why am I showing you Air Server? Well, it's it, it's a paid program. Well, I just kind of wanted to show you what people would traditionally use. So the big two right now, the most popular is probably Air Server. A lot of big companies use it. My school uses it for airplaying iPads to classroom projectors on the Windows PCs that are connected to those projectors. And another big one is Reflector. This one was probably a little more popular a long time ago. I used to use this a little bit. I would use the free trial over and over again to airplay to my MacBook Air to do videos on iDevices back before you could screen record on them. And what I used to use for free airplay mirroring in my basement with my Windows machine that's connected to a projector down there was Lonely Screen. It used to be completely free. Well, probably about a year or two ago, they went to this subscription model where you pay $14.95 a year personally or 30 bucks a year for a business. And honestly, compared to those other two, it's not a bad price. It's pretty tempting at one point. But then I ran across this. Now this is 3U Tools, and this is a piece of software I've used for quite some time, but not for airplane. I completely on accident, whenever I was messing around with the software, discovered that it can even do this. But, you know, this is what we're going to use. It does a lot more than just airplay mirroring. You can manage your apps, your pictures, your ringtones, videos all that sort of stuff on your Apple device and it's actually my favorite way to transfer pictures to and from my iPhone it's in my opinion the easiest and quickest way but it can do all sorts of other stuff and one of those is airplay mirror your Apple device completely free so you're just going to want to click the download button here and then it will download down at the bottom it's about 109 megabytes so not too big it'll take short or quick depending on your internet connection but it shouldn't take very long at all so once it's downloaded you can click on it click on run and then you're gonna have to click on yes so you'll just click on install I'm not gonna click on install because there's I already have it installed but all you gotta do is click on install and it will install if you go to custom install you can change the install in data locations it doesn't install any other garbage or anything like that onto your computer so there's nothing like that you need to watch out for in the installation so once it's done installing you're going to just want to click start and search for 3U tools and you're once again going to have to click on yes on the do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and then from here you'll see a screen that says please connect iDevice to PC using USB cable well, you don't have to do that. Just go over to Toolbox and click on 3U Air Player. And it should come up. However, there seems to be a bit of a glitch with uh, high resolution screens. I'm using a 4K monitor right now. If you're using a monitor, if you go to your display settings and you have your monitor scaled, it will not work. So, what you have to do in order to fix that is you have to close out by going down here, click on quit, and then from there open up your file explorer, go to this PC, C, program files x86, 3U tools, and then you'll see 3U air player here. So you can just right click, click on properties, compatibility, change high DPI settings, and then down here click override high DPI scaling behavior performed by application. Click on OK, click on apply, click on OK, and then from there you should be able to close out of there and click on 3U Air Player. And then you can see it will open up but it won't be scaled like the rest of your computer so it'll look a lot smaller but that's okay. So you can see that the name is 3U Air Player dash and then the name of your computer. So the name of my computer is Ryzen Desktop so it'll show up as 3U Player Ryzen Desktop in the screen mirroring section of my iDevice. Now there's a couple settings you're going to want to change to get the best uh, visual quality. You're going to want to set your FPS to 60 FPS and you're going to want to set your resolution to 3840 by 2080. 
Now, there, are, if you're running on a 1080p display or you're using an older iDevice, then it's probably worthwhile just to go 1080p. And if you're using a projector that's non-widescreen, you'll probably want to go 1024 by 768 because if you don't, when you have your iPhone in portrait, there will be a black bar at the top and bottom of your projector and it won't be as big as it could be. So you'd probably just want to go for 1024 by 768. However, for this, I'm going to go for the maximum resolution and I'm going to click on save. Now you notice it said it'll take effect after restarting, so what you have to do is go down here into your tray, click the little arrow, right click, click on quit, and then it will quit. And then from there you can open up 3U AirPlayer again. And once again, we'll maximize it. So now it's finally time to mirror your device. So all you got to do on your device is tap on screen mirroring here and then tap on 3U AirPlayer Ryzen Desktop. And you're good. We're airplaying. You can see that it's nice and smooth. And if you want to make it full screen, just double click and you'll see it goes full screen. So you can do pretty much anything on your phone and it will show up on the computer. Now videos through the YouTube app don't work and videos through the YouTube website look terrible. But let's face it, that's probably not what you're going to be using it for. Now if we say open up a game, this is probably what you'd be using it for. So I'll do a little bit of a demonstration of Minecraft. So we'll let the world load in. I'll let it load in all the way just so that we can get the uh, least stutters. So you can see that it looks really good. It's got very little lag. Like right now, I'm actually looking at the uh, phone. Or I mean, I'm looking at my computer screen and not the phone when I'm playing big like this. Like I'm holding my phone like a controller. And while, yes, there is some lag, it's not bad at all. I can barely notice it. Like I can play the game without looking at the uh, phone. The main problem is that I can't feel the arrow buttons. That's what's difficult. But it works just fine. And there should be sound coming through as well. I don't know why the sound is not, but I have tested it. The sound does normally work. But as you can see, we've got 60 frames a second high quality video streaming. Now I can stop mirroring from my uh, iPhone and I can pick up my iPad here this is an old iPad since this is an older iPad I might have to change the settings a little bit so let me do a little bit of experimentation live so I'm gonna go ahead and go up here I'm gonna change it to this iPad setting here click on save close out all the way. Let's go back to 3 Air Player and see what we've got now. So we'll full screen this. And let me try and airplay my iPad again. Okay, so now it works. So you got, just got to change that setting. And as you can see now, this iPad is running and it is running on a pretty old version of iOS. So we are on 9.3.5 here and it is working perfectly fine. So yeah, that's how to airplay to your computer completely free with no limitations. This is going to work the way it is right now forever. No subscription, no nothing like that. So I hope you found this useful and if you have any comments you can leave a comment. If this video helped you out, please feel free to leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. If you're a techie sort of person, I make all sorts of very interesting videos of me messing around with who knows what for who knows why. But thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.